Well. Ugh. Good morning. Welcome back to another trip at Walla. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to Six Flags Great Adventure today. Again, I'm going to pick up some rides I didn't pick up last time we were there. And uh, I figured I'd start my day with some uh, coffee because it's a little chilly out. But that's not going to stop me from getting on some roller coasters. I'm going to take you with me. Let's get going. See you there. Yeah. All right, made it in. We are now going to make our way over to Superman. I didn't get to ride it last time because it started getting really dark and cold, so I'm going to hit that first today. I am going to have to get a locker today, and uh, I'm pretty sure lockers are $10 for one of the ones that move around from ride to ride. Uh, just so you're aware, if you ever come to Six Flags, you can't bring anything with you in the queue for most rides, so you need to get a locker. <laughs> done with Superman. I will say, I think it is better than Manta at SeaWorld, though I have not been on it since the repaint that they've had recently. So, I don't know. I don't know what that was. People behind the back wall. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I'm over to Medusa, which I will tell you all about. While I'm on my way to Medusa, I get the sad side of El Toro closed in the background. On to Medusa. Yeah. I had to take a step away because I just had a situation outside of Medusa that really got on my nerves. Uh, sorry, the sun is pretty bright. Everybody deserves to have fun at a theme park. Not just you, not just your family, not just your friends, everybody. Just because somebody is different than you doesn't give you a right to point and laugh and be rude and obnoxious to them. And I hope that every time somebody does that, somebody is there to step in and call you out on it because that's just atrocious. We're all here to have fun. And I mean, not just, just at theme park. This should be a common thing. Nobody should do this on a regular basis. But the fact that I had to experience that, just knowing that that person felt hurt and were sad and they're supposed to be having a good time it's crazy to me. It takes more time to be rude and obnoxious than it does to just walk by and do your own thing. So stop being rude, do better. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Sorry about the echo, but the whole thing just stopped for like four whole minutes. That, that is not good for my heart. <laughs> Ooh, I can ride any roller coaster in the world, but these thing gondola things, they get me. So it's lunchtime and honestly, I just got theme park pizza. It's probably not gonna be that great. I'll give you an honest review. Um, yeah, so I rode Jersey Devil, that one, and it was incredible. I got back-to-back -back rides. We all know how I feel about that, but then I made a poor decision. I went and rode Batman. And wow, it is probably the smoothest of the inverted coasters I've ever ridden. I still don't like it. I don't know what it is about inverted coasters and me, but we don't get along very well. Today, you've probably noticed it's another solo day. The wife worked last night, and so I decided to come out today by myself. It's been a good day so far. Walk-ons on everything almost, except Batman. Um, they were doing like, they were averaging like two and a half minute dispatches, and it was the longest line that I've seen today. So. 
I don't know why, because Jersey Devil was a walk-on, but... All right, on to theme park pizza. What do you think we're going to rate this out of 10? Two out of 10. Not that good. So, I was going to get Fat Burger, but the line was so long. And I was very hungry, and my stomach was feeling a little woozy after riding Batman. And So after I eat, I'm going to probably maybe go ride Joker. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll check out some of the Oktoberfest booths since that's about to go away. Uh, we're, I know I said in the last video that me and my wife, we might come back and do Fright Fest, but uh, today is October 29th. And I don't think we're going to make it back for it. So, hey, maybe next year, uh, maybe a different Six Flags. We've got a ride on Dark Knight Coaster. But the wildest thing happened to me while I was in line. I was sitting there in line right there by where it has the security desk where all the monitors are. And this kid, maybe 12, behind me goes, to the keyboard that's on the desk and says, oh, that keyboard looks old. It's from the 90s. I was born in the 90s. Am I that old? I think I have hit every ride that I'm gonna hit today. Uh, starting to feel a little woozy and tired. So I think I'm gonna go uh, on my way out, look at some of the Oktoberfest booths just because it's gonna be my last chance to see them before the season's over for that. Also, if you're looking for a quiet place to film or relax or take a chill pill, there's just like nice wooden deck right here by Jersey Devil, right before you get to the kids area. Worth it. I already don't like swings. There ain't no way in hell you're getting me in flying position for that. I didn't intend on this being the ending point of the video. Yes, I didn't make it to the next thing. I'm still in the parking lot. Basically what happened, I was walking to the Oktoberfest booths and I stepped into a hole, which made me twist my ankle. So my ankle really hurt and I wasn't gonna push it the rest of the day through the park because that's when things really get hurt for me and I was like, I just don't wanna do that. So sadly, this is where the video ends which really stinks because I had some really cool ideas to show you guys parts of the Oktoberfest booth because it was the last chance I was going to get. So I hope you can forgive me. I will be back, especially at a great adventure, uh, probably in November. Uh, I know I'll come in December at least once for the holiday in the park. Um, but I thank you guys for sticking around uh, if you've made it this far. So, do me a favor, drop a like on the video if you really liked it. Leave a comment for things you'd like to see, things I could do better, suggestions. And if you plan to stick around for a little while, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified when I make a new video. I don't have a name for the channel yet, but I appreciate you being here even before I come up with a cool name. Anyways, I'll see you at the next adventure, the next theme park, the next roller coaster. Have a good night.